fifth grade. If you have not finished outlining your shoe with thick and thin lines, I want you to do that with Sharpie first and then put it in your folder for later. At your tables today, you're going to have a sheet that has lines and pattern ideas, and you're also getting a long strip. What this is going to end up being is your sock for your shoe. Um, we are going to make a fun, crazy pattern sock. So I want you to work on that next. You are going to put your name on your sock. I would put it on an edge in case you need to flip it over. And then fifth grade and your teacher's initial. And then you're going to flip it over. And then this is just to help you kind of think of ideas. Think of your what you're interested in, what your hobbies are, or simply what you like to draw. Um, so in, in different sections on your sock, I want you to start thinking about the coolest, most decorative socks you could have. If you're really into logos and things like that, or um, sports, you can do your number, you can do soccer balls, you can do whatever you'd like. Um, <coughs> I just want it to be thought out and well drawn. Um, you can think about all of your skills from your Zentangle and do kind of the same kind of thing, or you know, just repeat patterns over and over again. We're going to be learning different watercolor techniques with this. So we are going to be painting our sock. I just want you to go through and thoughtfully design some sort of wonderful type of sock. And then after it's done, you can use Sharpie. And remember the difference between using the same kind of line and thick and thin lines and the difference it makes in your drawing. So use both types of Sharpies to kind of outline and add pizzazz. So go through, if you know that you want a thick line, great. You can repeat that. Smaller details, you might want to use the smaller pen. Adding diff different texture and line. Adding movement to our drawings. And you're going to go from edge to edge all the way down with pencil first then sharpie to draw out a crazy sock for our wonderful shoe pictures remember you can refer to this or it can come straight out of your own imagination all right get working on those socks thanks for listening